Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It is Amy the Goddess here. You can also call me Imy, whatever you guys want to call me. Um, that's why my name is Diverse. Whatever is easier for you to pronounce, right? Uh -huh. So we're going to be doing a very requested topic. I've seen about three people request this topic of, you know, spying on your neighbors. So we're going to remote view. We're also going to use the cards to spy on your neighbors and see what they are up to. You might get a little bit of what they think about you, you know, what could be involving in you. So think of a particular neighbor if you want, or you can have just no particular neighbor either and just see whatever one comes up that's in your energy. That's fine too. You can definitely pick more than one if you're drawn to it. Just please keep in mind, this is a general collective reading, so maybe not everything will resonate. Take what I say with a grain of salt and let's get to the reading, okay? So let me show you each pile. Pile one is this card. It says Anunnaki. It is the number five. Pile two is Blue Avian, number seven. And pile three is the Lyrans, number 11. You guys like to see them all together. Here they are all together. And whichever one you're drawn to, go down in the comment section, click that pile or piles, okay? Thanks for for um, liking the video, subscribing, what is on my shirt. And if anyone wants to book a personal reading, information's down in the description box as usual. So let's start with pile one. untrustworthy is the first card that came out so you have an untrustworthy neighbor that is very manipulative unproductive so this may be a neighbor that doesn't work maybe they are retired maybe they um you know maybe they get paid from the state or something maybe they have something wrong but it looks like they don't work Yeah, look, they don't work. This is a neighbor that does not work. Okay, so like I said, could be retired, could be sick, could be handicapped, something like that, okay? If you have more than one that doesn't work, then you have to listen to the description, okay? So this person has um, envy towards people that are younger than them. What's going on with them? They're hiding a lot of information in their life. There's a lot you may not know about this neighbor. They were in war. It says here conflict, fights. So they could have been in war. Maybe they're in the military. Or for some of you, this could be that they were in boxing. They were in wrestling. Something like that, okay? What have they been doing? So this neighbor is actually crushing on you and they've made their move towards you in subtle ways and either you didn't catch on or you rejected them and this gave them a tower moment because they felt rejected. So what have they been up to? Sneaky stuff. Okay. They've been stealing or doing some type of criminal activity. They're doing illegal stuff. We have the death card. This person may be a murderer. I'm not going to lie to you. The death card and the seven of swords. This person might be a murderer. But they sneak this, and it's hidden. It's very, very hidden. Good thing you did reject them, because who knows if that could have happened to you. I don't know. What else with this person? Codependency, shallow, unnecessary drama. 
Hmm. They can have a they could also have an ex-wife that they're dealing with some issues with or an ex-wife is family that they're dealing with some issues with. Um, this person's actually going to communicate with you later today or they're going to wave at you later today. Latest tomorrow as well for some of you. So they've literally been like doing stuff like hiding bodies or plotting their next kill. Trigger warning. Jesus. I don't want to stay in this energy too long. I mean, we pretty much spied on them and we pretty much know what's going on. Besides that, they've been doing normal stuff. Cleaning, eating, watching TV, listening to music. But they do a lot of plotting. A lot of plotting, a lot of planning is what this person does. Um... I, what type of people do they kill and how? They would do it to where they wouldn't get caught, for one. Fight. Okay, we have the conflict card. Hmm. Hmm. They kill only homeless people. People that they would never get they would never get caught. They killed some type of homeless person. So you wouldn't be their target anyway. They could just think you're attractive. But this is what came up. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here. Bye bye, pile one. Thanks for joining. Let's go to pile number two. You chose pile number two. Let's find your neighbors. Let's see what they're up to. They making shmoney. They could be trying to have a family. Trying to make a family. Maybe they have a family they're trying to add on to. Some of you, they don't have a family. And they're trying to make a family. And because they can't, maybe they have some type of issues. PCOS, infertility, whatever. They're um, having anxiety and feeling upset that they can't ha have a child. So instead, they're making a lot of money to make up for that. Maybe they have animals, or they're wanting to get animals to make up for that. They are in a relationship, this neighbor that I'm describing. They are in a relationship. Um, they do a lot of creative stuff, so they could do like creative cooking, creative drawing, creative writing. They do a lot of create. Creativity is definitely involved in their daily routine in some way. What does this neighbor do? What are they up to? This neighbor I don't think is a, fr a threat to you. They're going through a transformation in their life right now. They're actually going through a spiritual awakening kind of. Or another one. Something like that. So yeah. They're working on their feminine energy. They could have very damaged feminine energy. They have issues with a mom. So they're trying to heal their mother wound. This person's not a threat to you at all. They, you know, Like I said, they're in a relationship. And both of these, this couple, they love you. Both of this couple has a new perspective on you. If they didn't like you before, they do now. Um, and they want to invite you over for like parties and like gatherings and stuff like that. They might be in conflict with people that they work with or their old friend group. And like they'd rather be friends with you. They feel like you're a cool person. They want to get to know you more. Yeah, because it looks like other people have disappointed them that they try to hang out with. So they feel like you could have also been through the same thing. Let's heal this. Let's heal this wound together and like be friends. Well, be a happy family. Whatever that song is I'm hearing. With a great big hug. And uh, 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 uh. So they kind of want to make you a part of their family. Yeah. They recognize you. They see your worth. And they want to have fun with you. Like I said, party, drink, have gatherings, play games, game night, stuff like that. They may invite you for that soon. They may not know if it's appropriate yet. They're waiting for the right time. If you have kids, they may want to have your kids play. Or you have your kid come over or whatever the case. This person also reads a lot of books. Or at least someone here reads a lot of books. Someone here smokes. 
So that's what they do in their free time. They smoke, they read, they do creative stuff like painting or gardening. Um, they like you though. So this isn't a threat, these people here. So I'm going to leave that here. And that's what your neighbor's been up to. They could also be having like issues in their home that they're fixing. Reconstructing their home in some way, you know. Fixing stuff that's breaking. So let's go to pile three. Pile three. What is this neighbor up to? Let's spy on this neighbor. What is this neighbor up to? This neighbor is bored quite a lot. They could be in a depression. You could have trouble time managing. So for some of you, this person may work from home, but travel every now and then for work. But they mostly work from home. Sorry about that. We dropped the phone. Okay, so... Yeah, I feel like this person has trouble time managing. So working from home is like the best thing for them. They do watch you a lot out of their window is what I'm getting. Or like they look over at you a lot. They're trying to figure you out. If you could see on this, this is you and your home. This is them. They're always looking over trying to figure you out. See how it looks puzzled and messy? It's because they're confused. They don't know what to think about you. Maybe you haven't talked very often. They just wonder about you. Lovers. They could. This person could also be in a relationship, but it's like their lover could have said hi to you or been looking at you. So they're wondering, like, is there something going on here? Am I overthinking? Um, was it my person trying to get at this person? They don't know. They're confused. But they do wonder that. They work so much, though, that, like, they're always going through things. This person has a lot of chaos in their life. I feel like they have, like, a lot of weird health issues going on. It's always, like, one thing after another. They almost caught their house on fire, cooking something, and it burned. Or it could have been a child doing something. They do have children, it looks like. I feel like their their husband, because this seems like a woman I'm picking up on, their husband is unfaithful and they have no proof of it, but they feel something. And they're wondering, is it you that is having the affair with them or is it someone else? So they're just wondering that, but they don't have any proof, so they're not going to be rude to you, right? It says they have an unhealthy lifestyle and disloyalty, so that's the husband. Her husband's cheating on her and she, if she had proof of it, she would end the relationship. But she has no proof. He's very sneaky with it. They're also having money issues. They could file for bankruptcy. Could file for bankruptcy or something. I feel like they're going 50-50 or she's the one paying more of the bills right now than him. And he's cheating on her. She needs to leave this guy. Um, it says lack of direction and self-discipline. So she's feeling lost right now. She may do a lot of workouts from the home or take a lot of walks. She could be getting a new career opportunity soon. But her husband is just a whore, man. Her husband is a whore. And she's a very caring person. She doesn't deserve this. She does, it does seem like they do fight sometimes because she's not getting her give and take. She's doing more than him and she's not getting her equal give and take. So she does watch you a lot. It's almost like she does want to talk to you to figure out, but she doesn't want to cause drama. And she doesn't want to offend you by asking that question. Like, hey, has my husband talked to you? Has my husband said anything to you? So she's avoiding you know, starting some type of argument or drama with you. But she does really want to know and she's just watching to see, you know? They could have had to call the cops at some point because of some type of fights they were having. 
So it could be some type of domestic violence going on in the home. Lots of relationship problems. Seems like the the connection is dead, but they're still holding on for like kids, money, you know, things like that. This person is doing like a lot. Like they cook, they clean, they work from home, they take care of the kids, they try to find a workout routine. They're trying to also spend time with their kids and take their kids to you know football practice or whatever the heck right they don't even have time to go shopping for themselves i'm getting like they hate their clothes and they want to shop for new clothes but they don't even have the extra money to do that this person listens to a lot of music they like to dance they're, they're a family oriented person as well but um yeah so this person's watching you just trying to figure it out are you the other woman or not you the other man are you this could be the other way around for some of you this could be the man and the man wants to come to you as a man and um it's the woman that's cheating so switch it if it needs to be switched here depending on who you are watching but that's what i see going on here at some point you guys are going to cross paths you could become like acquaintances at some point i don't know if you should tell them or not if they're if their husband did, I think it would cause conflict that you would be in the middle of. So you might not want to. But um, I hope this reading helps you guys. I love you. I appreciate you. And see you next reading. Bye.